If you have acne and you don't know what to do, watch this video. I had very stubborn acne for a very long time and nothing helped me the way benzoyl peroxide did. It's a great acne treatment, but it only works if you use it the right way. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to use benzoyl peroxide step by step, how to pick the right products, how to get rid of acne marks, and we'll talk about the redness and the dryness when you first start using BP. Keep watching, I'm sure that it will be helpful for you. I already posted two videos for benzoyl peroxide, but I received so many questions and that made me feel like I didn't explain well enough. So in this video, I will reply to the most asked questions from the previous two videos. Okay, so let's first start with quickly saying what is benzoyl peroxide. As I said, it's an acne treatment that have been used from the 1960s. It's great because it unclogs the pores, it reduces the inflammation and it kills the bacteria. So not only that it cures the acne, but it also prevents it. That is the short description. If you want to learn more, there will be a link below. And the good thing is that you can buy it from pretty much any pharmacy and also a lot of brands have their own benzoyl peroxide. I haven't used all these brands, but I just wanted to show you that you have many options. You can find it as cream or gel, but my advice for you is try to find the gel. The cream, I find it a little bit difficult to blend. Uh, the gel, you can apply it without any irritation. And we know that irritation causes acne big time. But we'll speak about the irritation in a bit. Now let's go back to benzoyl peroxide. The typical concentration for benzoyl peroxide is between 2.5% and 10%. But studies show that high amounts of benzoyl peroxide are more irritating, but not more effective than the lower concentrations. I've been using 2.5% for about a year and a half now, and I can't complain. <laughs> so here's how to use it. Before applying BP, you need to wash your face with cleanser. Cleansing is necessary because it removes surface oils and this allows the BP to penetrate. When you choose face wash, look for the words like gentle, for dry, sensitive skin. Using a soft towel, gently pat your skin and then wait about 5 minutes for your skin to dry. That will allow BP to better absorb. After that, apply BP very gently. Do not rub and do not rinse off the BP. Wait again 5-10 minutes before applying the moisturizer. Then you can apply the moisturizer. This step is very important because BP will make your skin very dry and irritated and the moisturizer will keep it in balance. When choosing moisturizer, look for the words non-comedogenic, fragrance-free and if you ask me, use moisturizer for dry, sensitive skin at least in the beginning, regardless of what skin type you have. The good news is that many brands have sets that include cleanser, benzoyl peroxide and a moisturizer. Like the one I've been using by Acne.org. I only didn't like the moisturizer though, so I replaced it with this one by CeraVe. So do yourself a favor and pick a whole set. Unfortunately, benzoyl peroxide has some side effects. And one of them is that it dries the skin a lot, especially in the beginning. So I've been using it for four days now. As you can see, it's peeling here right now. Actually, the whole area feels like concrete. This is about to start peeling really badly. I can't smile at all. That's, that's the biggest smile I can give you at the moment. So you need to start with applying only a piece size of benzoyl peroxide once a day in the evening. And once your skin get used to it, then you can start increasing slowly the amount. So some redness, dryness, irritation, flakiness. In the beginning, it's normal. But if it's too painful, if it's too red, if it's too dry, then you're doing something wrong and you need to stop for a few days. Um, give your skin some break let it recover and you can start again but this time start slowly actually i did the same mistake um, i started really fast with benzoyl peroxide because um, my skin is not sensitive so i thought i can start using it twice a day 
and my skin looked horrible it was really painful so i had to email acne.org and ask them what to do and that's what they told me just stop it for a few days and then start it again but this time started the right way however there is another annoying side effect bp can bleach everything that comes in contact with hair clothes towels bed sheets this is a t-shirt that i wear only at home <laughs> this discoloration is from bp um, honestly speaking it isn't that big of a deal just try to use white towels and bed sheets the hair bleaching is barely noticeable and luckily it didn't bleach any of my clothes that I go outside with. So I've got a feeling that sometimes when I stay at home, I just put the t-shirt like that on my nose. I don't know why. So maybe that's why it bleached this t-shirt. Okay, so somehow you managed to get rid of the pimples, but now your face is covered in the annoying acne marks. In order to deal with them, you need to understand what's the difference between acne scars and hyperpigmentation. Acne scars look like uh, holes in the skin, that's how I like to describe them. While the dark reddish brownish spots are called hyperpigmentation. And no, benzoyl peroxide cannot get rid of any of them. Unfortunately, there is no way to get rid of the acne scars with some creams at home. So it's best to book an appointment with dermatologist and get some treatments done. Laser therapy, microneedling and chemical pills are just a few treatments that can help both the scars and the dark spots. If you have only hyperpigmentation, there are products that you can buy and use at home. Uh, and even though it will take a while to get rid of them, um, it's still possible. I've been using glycolic acid and I love it. There is a whole video about it and it will be in the description below. And I also did a few treatments with dermatologists. I did the PRP with microneedling just to speed up the process. Okay, finally, let's talk about the irritation. Remember when I told you that irritation causes acne? If there is one advice that I can give someone who has acne is don't irritate your skin. Don't touch your face, don't use any scrubs or cleansing devices when you wash your face and don't poke your pimples. If you really need to poke a pimple, I know that sometimes they have a, like a white head and they look like they're gonna pop any minute and you don't want that to happen uh, when you're outside. There is a safe way to poke people without irritation and I will leave a link below to a video with instructions. And something very important, if you have acne, the sun is your worst enemy, especially if using benzoyl peroxide or any other acne treatment or hyperpigmentation treatment. So make sure that you always wear sunscreen. I like this one because it's very liquid. It doesn't have any fragrances. And it's just so easy for me to apply it on top of the benzoyl peroxide and the moisturizer. At the end of this video, I want to give you a few tips. One of them is for the towel. Make sure that you have a towel, especially for your face, and change it often. I bought 10 cheap um, towels from the supermarket and I use a fresh, clean towel every day. Also change your pillowcase every few days. And give it some time because it does take time to get rid of acne. There is six months difference between these two pictures. I think the first two months my skin looked horrible. It was red and irritated and I only started noticing any significant difference probably after the third month. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I reply to all the comments under the previous two videos for benzoyl peroxide. So I'm here for you. Please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe.